In this video, I'm going to be talking about why you might want to consider adding emergency antibiotics to your medical supplies as I have. Specifically, I'll be talking about the Jace Medical Emergency Antibiotic Kit, and then I'll talk about fish antibiotics. For more information about my sources, please see under the description below. There are a few reasons I added antibiotics to my medical supplies. First, the United States gets nearly 100% of its antibiotics from other countries, namely China and India. And I think that's very dangerous to rely on other countries for our medications. Uh, the supply could be cut off at any point for a number of reasons. I don't want to end up with a prescription and go into a pharmacist and the pharmacist saying, sorry, we're out. That's not all that far-fetched. Right now, as of making this video, there's an amoxicillin shortage. I don't know how bad it is, how long it'll last, but there is a shortage. Dailymail.com says doctors warn America is running out of four child antibiotics and flu drugs. The second reason is there could be a disaster so bad there will be no doctors to see or pharmacists to go to. And then finally, according to Jace Medical, the threat of deadly pandemics on U.S. soil from our own biolabs, either intentional or unintentional, is very real. Jace Medical sells an emergency antibiotic kit with five FDA-approved antibiotics they felt would benefit most people in most emergency situations. They treat things like bite wounds, pneumonia, anthrax bioterror, the plague bioterror, UTI, skin infections, C. diff, giardia, and the list goes on and on and on. The antibiotics included in the kit are amoxicillin, doxycycline, cipro, metronidazole, and azithromycin, otherwise known as a Z-Pack. Now I was surprised that they can even do this. I've been looking for FDA approved antibiotics for a long time. So I emailed Jace Medical and asked them, and a representative emailed back. There have been a tremendous amount of change surrounding telehealth regulations due to the changes with windows of opportunity have been opened to help patients in new ways. They're probably talking about COVID, uh, relax the regulations, but at what point are those regulations going to tighten up again? So that's why we bought our kids. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they regulated fish antibiotics at some point. Now, Chase Medical included a little booklet called the Emergency Antibiotic Guide written by their board certified physicians. They talk about a little bit about the history of bacterial infections and antibiotics, and then uh, finally how to use the antibiotics. Now I'm not saying it's a good idea to self-diagnose and then decide what kind of antibiotic you think you need for an infection you think you have. That could be very harmful. But in a dire situation, it, it, to have that kind of knowledge and have a supply of antibiotics may be very useful. This is a book that I bought, actually it's the fourth edition, it's, it, I just bought this one a little while ago, but I had one for, for a long time. I may be doing a review on this, so check back or subscribe and hit the button for notifications. The Essential Guide for When Help is Not on the Way, it's a really good book. So having other information in addition to antibiotics is uh, probably a really good idea. Now the process of buying the kit is simple and fast. It took me about five minutes. I just went online to their site and found out the kit in the United States cost $259, at least at this point. And then at the bottom of the page, they compared that price with other pharmacies and they appear to be very competitive. The next step was to just add information about a little of my medical history, which really wasn't all that extensive. I was okay with that. I started having a problem though when, when they wanted a copy of my ID or driver's license. I needed to talk to somebody before I, I, I do that. So I called and spoke to a representative. I learned that they have to have a copy by law and that their site is HIPAA compliant. I have information under the description below about that. Uh, even my own personal physician has a HIPAA compliant site. It's sort of an added layer of security for my, my, uh, my medical information. Uh, they, they're inside the United States and in specifically in Utah and they have board certified physicians. So I went ahead and, and went through with it and uh, I got my kit in about three to four days. Storing antibiotics properly is very important. Chase Medical says they should be stored in an airtight container and cool, dry environment. My wife and I keep ours in the original container, vacuum sealed with moisture absorbers, and then we place them in our bug out bags. That way they can be with us if we have to bug out. At some point, people want to know usually how long they can store antibiotics like this for an emergency. And Chase Medical says whatever's on the label is what they recommend. However, in a dire situation, under proper storage conditions, antibiotics expiration dates can be extended for a minimum of an additional five years. That's a minimum of an additional five years. The Jace Medical Emergency Antibiotic Guide says, in part, many medications, both prescription and over-the-counter, are perfectly good to use even after much as 15 years after their expiration date. 
Now I've been buying fish antibiotics since 2010, but they're not FDA approved and not meant for human consumption. There could be a problem with the purity of the ingredients and potency, among other things. Some say that some fish antibiotics are the same as FDA approved, so I compared the identification marks on one of my 250 milligram fish antibiotics to a chart on drugs.com showing the FDA approved version of 250 milligram uh, amoxicillin. I found a manufacturer that appears to be the same as mine and other manufacturers have their own unique markings as well. So I emailed Jace Medical and I asked them if, if some of my fish antibiotics have the same identifying marks as FDA approved, uh, are they the same thing? And if so, why should I buy your kit? And uh, here was their response. Yes, they are, but they don't have to go through the same post-manufacturer tracking and, post or, and control process. The pills may be produced by the same manufacturer, but once they leave the factory, they aren't under the same controls as FDA approved medications as far as transportation, tracking to the final pharmacy, temperature controls, and humidity. Now, the only way I would take fish antibiotics would be if I was out of FDA approved antibiotics and I had a bacterial infection that could potentially kill me. And if there were no doctors or pharmacies that I could contact at all. So a disaster uh, kind of situation. So having these FDA approved antibiotics uh, gives me a real peace of mind. Now I'm not an expert, so be sure to check under the description for my sources of information. And uh, if, you, if you like the video, please like it and share it. And don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Thanks for watching.